The venture capital fund, our crowd, is teaming up with NVIDIA to support more than 20 AI startups that they invest in. Now, our crowd brings a decade of experience to the table, $386 million across more than 80 AIs. NVIDIA has the technology and the training. It'll fast track the startups into so-called inception program. Several have been accepted. Three have been announced. DID, One Zero Digital, and Polaris Quantum Biotech. John Medved is our crowd's chief executive. He's with me from California. John, it really is always good to see you. I'm grateful for you uh, to being with us here. Look, what was the criteria that you used with your companies to see if they were going to go be good enough or valid enough for inception? Look, it's unbelievable the opportunity that I think is ahead of us in terms of artificial intelligence. I think so many of your uh, viewers probably feel, well, you know, I didn't get into NVIDIA, the stock, early enough. It's already $2 trillion. It's over. But that's so wrong. You know, I was yesterday with a group of venture capitalists and angel investors here in the Valley, and I asked the group, I said, which inning in the baseball game are we at relative to this AI phenomena? And the consensus was, we're early in the first inning. It's early. Right. That, no. And that means that there are going to be extraordinary startups emerging who are going to become quite big. We're looking for people who are both having breakthrough technology as well as big market opportunities as AI moves to the edge, goes not just from the data center where NVIDIA is the king, mm -hmm. but also into the edge uh, computing area as well as the vertical strategy. Right. Where but John, transforms. yes. What does putting them in this program give them? What, well, do, so what they get, do they gain? They, they get access, first of all, to NVIDIA, which is looming so important in the overall AI uh, arena, both in terms of just supplying the picks and shovels. What we need to make AI work are these chips. And so getting access to NVIDIA with special pricing, with the ability to get a preferred delivery and training, uh, for their teams, special tools to use these things, uh, getting access to their key people, right. as well as being part of a community of other venture capitalists. We're one of seven venture firms around the world who joined as sort of founding partners together with NVIDIA. If we may turn to the, obviously, your company's based in Israel, your, your startups are in Israel, or many of them. Um, what effect, if any, are you seeing for international investors and a willingness to fund companies in Israel at the moment uh, during the, the current war in Gaza? Look, remarkably, uh, Israel's tech economy just continues marching on. Uh, during the war, we had to uh, deal with the fact that there were many people called up into reserves. We handled it well under the slogan, Israel tech delivers no matter what. Uh, we did multitasking, a lot of overtime and a lot of grit. But today, the overseas investors are acting incredibly maturely. Intel just announced $25 billion of more investment. Yesterday, there was a $500 million fund raised. I'm in the process of raising right. a lot of money for Halo, which is a AI chip maker for the edge. And it just keeps on rolling, and we're we're quite uh, gratified with this. Okay, but but what about the person, the people, the, the the talent, if you will, the brain power? Um, is there a fee? Will will they stay in Israel, or will they? Are they moving? Are they going off elsewhere to the valley no, for a no. while? Look, first of all, we we Israelis love the world and love to tour. The most amazing part of what happened in this war was the influx of thousands, I dare say tens of thousands of young people from Israel who were touring the world who right. came home to serve in their units. Uh, Israelis won't stop traveling the world, but you, you've been to Israel, Richard. It's a great place to live, and I think our people are pretty committed. Our population, by the way, is the fastest growing right. of any of the OECD. We grow by 2% a year just on a population net increase. So. I think that the tech sector is strong, especially in AI. And All what right. makes us ex yep. excited is that we have the ability now to get investors in into private companies 
via our AI fund together with NVIDIA. And this, John, I think, is a real milestone for us. I'm grateful you joined us. John Medved, always good to see you, sir. Thank you.